Hello YouTube viewers, this is Heliok here. Today I'm going to talk about the latest addition in propulsion in Robocraft rotor blade. Starts from tier 5 to tier 10. As you can see, tier 5. It goes all the way to tier 10. And it's uh, quite light. And here's the fun part. Per CPU, it's uh, very, very effective. Like it is the greatest in terms of per CPU uh, weight that you can lift. So if you don't have too much CPU, but you require to carry a very heavy load, this is the best, best option that you have. And as you can see, each of them come at a block where you can connect up to five points, right? You can see, which allows you to make them very, you know, you can use them very creatively. So you can put them like this also. Uh, it's not recommended. Try to use a more conventional design. Uh, not because like, you know, you can't uh, use futuristic or, you know, go crazy kind of style, but because it will be easier to steer and, you know, understand stability and all that. They do have turbulence. That means rail cannon will have a bit of an issue with accuracy. So there's that. Now enough talk, let's go to demonstration. You can combine them with almost anything and it is it provides you much stable um, you know flight other than anything as you can see space bar is to for going up and left shift is for coming down if you leave it there it's not going to come down automatically so remember that yeah that happens so it does have a max ceiling it's not like you uh, It does take, uh, it will take you a time to understand how they operate and they are a bit slow. As you can see, I made a very light aircraft, but still they are not very fast. So you do have to play around rather than, you know, just, and it's going in where I don't want it to go. Whenever you go in a positions like this, space bar is there to help you. Yep. And there you go. So. It doesn't make a lot of noise. That is very good. You can, you know, sneak up on people. That's uh, if that's what you desire. This is a very good vehicle for it. Control wise, it's uh, good to control. It's not that difficult. Okay, that's a poor demonstration. Basically, what they did is uh, using hovers. Uh, it's basically hover that can go much higher. That's the best way I can describe it. And you can land almost anywhere, like height wise. There is no issue with that. Just remember space bar to go up. And if you leave space bar or anything like that, or uh, you know, don't do anything, it's gonna swing up and down a bit. As you can notice, I'm not touching keyboard as of now, but you can see there is a bit of wobble up and down. So don't get it confused, it's not going down. Okay. Okay. So use shadow and make sure you graphic setting is enabled that you can see shadows. You can land and do. see I landed and it automatically started to you know, go up so this is my review of uh, rotor blade in the mega update of mega bots so overall use it wisely and you can connect them in any way that you so desire and they're gonna work so but don't accept them to be you know fast as airfoils that would be silly so that's that. Hope you guys liked it. If you like it, subscribe. If you did not like it, dislike. And please leave a comment. Thank you.